Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video, and I'll put a link to that up here, it was Frenchies and Ribbons. I discussed having two sort of nail art resolutions, two nail art goals, right, for 2023. One of them I have already done. So my second sort of nail art goal is to put a spotlight on smaller channels. I feel like, I feel as though they don't have the subs or the audience that they deserve. Their nail art's amazing. Their personalities are fantastic. I freaking love them. But I, I feel like I'm here to sort of push. We all here to like help each other. We all here to network. We all here to have fun. So my first 2023, whatever the hell this series is going to be called. She is a content creator located over in the UK. I'm putting a spotlight on G's Nail Spot. And of course, I'm going to link her down below. What I'm going to be doing in this series is I'm going to be recreating a Manny that they did. Maybe it's a Manny that I fell in love with. Maybe it's a Manny that I feel like I could kind of easily recreate. Obviously, I'm not going to have all the exact same products, but G did a video and by the way like I could look at this woman forever she's gorgeous she's cheeky she's she's funny she's a badass okay she could whoop my ass okay she's a power lifter and a power lifting coach she could completely whoop my ass but she does a beautiful nail art but maybe the reason I'm drawn to G is because our nail art styles are so different she's gothic she's dark she calls herself like like she's definitely has that Wednesday Adams type of a vibe she she loves the spooky she you know she doesn't do bright florals and I freaking love bright florals as y'all know. In this video I'm putting a spotlight on G's nail spot and she did this particular Manny and she titled it Spider Queen Purple Nails. This is not an exact recreation. This is just a Manny inspired by G's Spider Queen Purple Nails. So we'll see how it goes. But my entire goal here, you guys, is to drive more subs to G's channel because I adore her. I feel like she deserves it. And she's also in the midst of a big giveaway, which is UK and US. She will ship overseas. It's just a great big giveaway. Her goal is to reach 420 subscribers, which, by the way, is cracking me up anyway. 420. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, G's a little bit cheeky. She is trying to reach 420 subscribers. I think by the time her, her giveaway ends, which I don't have the date right in front of me, but I'm gonna try to fly through this Manny and get this video uploaded. Y'all go check out G's Nail Spot. I adore her. And again, she's hot. All right, let's jump on in. So I'm gonna start out with these almond tips. When I tell y'all that I have prepped these, what I tend to do with just like my practice tips is I will chemically etch them. If you hear me say that I've chemically etched my tips, I just put on a non-acid primer or you could use acetone just basically or your hand file, your e-file, whatever you have to do to just remove that shine, I guess, from your plastic tip. And then once that primer dries, you can go in with a base coat. So I have used uh, Madame Glam's base coat because I'm gonna be using Madame Glam gel polishes. And of course I haven't sized these. One thing, one thing that G does do is she creates her own press-ons. So of course the photo, the inspo photo that y'all saw, those tips were already sized to her nails. And because they were, I felt like I sort of needed to find tips that would allow me to put the same designs on those tips, you know, the sizes. So there we go. This is a centuries old Madame Glam. It is a thermal gel. I think it still transitions. It's called My Boo, My Boo. This is roughly kind of the same color, maybe not. I think G used more of like a jelly type of a purple. So honestly, I don't know because this is a thermal. I don't really know what my final look is gonna be compared to hers. But her other three nails, she did like a lavender base. And this is Madame Glam's Lilac You A Lot. This is just a light purple, a lavender purple that I decanted when I was at G Lunny's house back in, uh, back at Thanksgiving. And Nana and I raided her, <laughs> raided her Madame Glam stash. 
I decanted me a little bit of lilac you a lot. So I'm hoping these two base colors are sort of kind of going to be what OG was going for. She also used a an Aurora powder, like a color shifting Aurora powder. I don't have that exact same powder, but I do have one that shifts green purple. We'll see. I don't know if mine's is finely milled as the one that she used, but we'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. She also used uh, Mylar paper from Charlie's Nail Art, which by the way, Charlie's, I freaking love. I've hauled Charlie's before. Charlie ships all over the place. I have a ton of her foils, but I will put my Charlie's Nail Art haul. I will also link that up in the cards above. Go check out Charlie's, you guys. She does glitters, she does nail foils, she does nail embellishments. Again, she ships everywhere and she's so reasonably priced. Hang on, what did G use? Yes, she used a shifty Mylar Mylar paper. I'm gonna use flakies and they're probably not gonna be the same color. I'm gonna see how this goes. All right, y'all, so it is voiceover time because Spawn was in his room next door just kikiing and hooting and hollering it up with his buddies on the old PS5 and he had the giggles and y'all could hear everything. So I'm just gonna voice over some of the stuffs. So here I am going in with my boo. And yes, it does transition, and you will see the transition very shortly. So I'm going to do those two nails, those two full cover nails in my boo. And then the other three are going to have lilac you a lot. And I do two coats. Well, I do two coats of both of these polishes. And this color is beautiful. I mean, for a purple. I'm not a big purple lover like Nana is. Like, Nana's color is purple. And here's that transition. It's like a cerulean. It's like a cerulean blue. It's still very beautiful. So I'm going to cure my top coat for only 25 seconds because I'm going to go over this with that shifty pigment. And I'm a dork and I was out of shot on two of these nails. But I was also doing a little bit of this. So I'm going to dust off that extra little pigment powder and then go in with my boo. And I did wipe down this polish because I was working with that pigment and it, I didn't want that pigment flying over and sticking to my tacky layer. So I did go ahead and wipe those two nails. So I'm going in with my McCart number two brush and I am going to map out freehand. Look at me go, y'all freehand in some Frenchies. It was not perfect, but look at this transition. This is cool. So I'm going to put some base coat down. Y'all, when y'all work with flakies, y'all can't breathe. Y'all can't fart. Y'all can't sneeze. Y'all can't do nothing because they are so super fine. So here I am going in with my application brush and just doing very, very, very tiny, thin coat of base coat. I just want my little flakies to stick to something. So I'm going to use this application brush and I'm going to do just that. I'm going to stick some flakies on here on this wet, wet base coat. Yeah, don't cure it. Uh, yeah, keep that base coat wet. And then I'm just basically going to cover two, you know, these two purple full cover nails. Beautiful. Ooh, love it. Now, G went over these because she used like a thicker mylar paper. She went over hers with a clear builder gel. I don't have one of those. And my flakies are so super skinny and fine and thin. I just thought a clear rubber base would be good to just sort of, I don't even want to call it encapsulate because I'm not really encapsulating. But I'm just, I mean, I, I guess I could have used a, just a freaking base coat, honestly. But I did go ahead and use uh, Born Pretty's clear a rubber base. I think that was 08. Also, do check your brush bristles before you stick that back in the bottle. And I just wiped mine. But look at this freaking transition. Even that was beautiful. So G used a pearly white. I actually started to use a silver and then I remembered I have She Modern Sticky Stamping Polish in a pearly white. So this is going to be my full cover spider web. Look how beautiful that is. What an amazing pickup. And I've never used this before either. I had to take the freaking plastic off of it. 
Thanks, G-Money. This was in the pile that G-Money sent me. Look at that. Beautiful. It's giving me like a satellite view type of a, a air traffic controller radar vibe. I was not happy with this one. I felt like I sort of lost my little bat. So I'm going to go back in with a silver, the silver sticky stamping polish and sort of pick him up again and double stamp. He ain't perfect. He ain't the best but this is what we gonna rock with and then what's coming up yeah just stick your little ass over there and then my spider ignore his lobster claws ignore them lobster claws y'all whatever this is this was not my best stamping experience you guys y'all should know i'm a much better stamper than this but it was late and I was like, let's just get on to these gemstones. So let me, trust me when I tell y'all. Oh, and I do use my Lisette gel nails and my rhinestone glue and my LGN picker upper thing. And I got this big crystal, the big one from, uh, I think my most re recent Shein haul, which y'all have not seen that video yet. So I'm just gonna apply this McCart rhinestone glue. I was not really happy with this. I don't under, I don't know if, it's almost like it squirted out oil first before it got to the glue because my shit was sliding everywhere and I'm not just talking about the gemstones I'm talking about the glue itself but here's my final look and gee gee let me know what you think I do show y'all a little bit of a shot here with my lamps turned down so y'all can see uh what see what it looks like sort of like low lighting backlit different lights you know the shiftiness i was really happy with this but again it ain't up to me miss g's nail spot please let me know what you think about my recreation congratulations on 2023's very first small creator spotlight if you stuck around this long drop me a lobster emoji in the comments i'll see y'all in my next one bye